Welcome to Talk of the Town. This is an official podcast from the town of Pine Top Lakeside to expand upon community topics shared through the Talk of the Town newsletter. Here we will give you more detail, respond to questions, and deliver information about community news and happenings. Hey, it's Rob Hefner here hanging out in the studio of Pine Top Lakeside for Talk of the Town. I've got with me a familiar guy. It's Tyler. He's with uh, Sunrise Park Resort. How you doing? Doing well today. So what's happening uh, at Sunrise? No, we normally think of Sunrise as the ski resort, but uh, it was funny because you corrected me and said, no, let's call it Sunrise Park Resort, which sort of gives more encompassing. People don't think about the fact that there are a lot of uh, summer events there, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we have a lot of summer activities and we've really built it up over the last several years to be a all seasons resort. Okay, so let's talk about those events in a minute. There's some improvements that are going on right now. What what's happening at Sunrise? Yeah, so the last two years, Sunrise has invested heavily in really rehabilitating the resort, really sprucing up uh, different things around the resort. We have a huge investment in the lifts. We've been upgrading the lifts to digital systems. They were in analog systems from 20 years ago. So we've been upgrading those to have more reliable lift running um, throughout the summer and the winter. We've been going through and uh, remodeling the lodge. We have a full remodel of the hotel going on right now that's supposed to open late 2023. And that's going to be a full remodel of all the rooms, all the interior of the hotel. Yeah, I'm actually kind of excited about that. I've, I've, you know, I've heard, I've been by there, I've seen it, but I've actually never been in the lodge. And I just think that's kind of would be the cool way to do it. Go up there, hang out at the lodge and go skiing or do whatever you want to do. Yeah, it's a great location. It's right on Sunrise Lake and the hotel has an indoor pool, indoor hot tub. It has a bar and a restaurant inside as well. And then I think there's something around 100 plus rooms. So dang, it's quite a substantial hotel and a great place to stay while you visit the outdoors, visit the mountain and and spend time at Sunrise. Very cool. Okay. So you talked about this digital versus analog thing and you actually explained it to me on the phone the other day. Analog is basically they run wires to each of the little sensor points. And if something goes bad, it sends us, it stops it, right? Exactly. Yes. So our our main lift, lift one, which is Sunrise Express, it is an analog system and it has over a thousand different things that can cause a problem or fault that would stop the lift from operating. Right. So the digital system, you just look, oh, look, there's the one it is and go fix that. On an analog system... You don't, right? Exactly. The analog (laughs) system doesn't tell us what's wrong. And so our lift maintenance guys have to try to guess and check to try to get the lift back running again. Whereas the digital system will be able to tell exactly what problems there are and get it up and running a lot quicker if there's any issues, that kind of thing. Yeah. And because of that, the analog system, as you told me, made the system run slower than it would supposedly supposed to be running, right? Exactly. Yeah. The faults um, can cause it just to slow down and rather than stop. And (laughs) (laughs) so some of those faults, that we haven't been able to pinpoint because there's a thousand different possibilities have caused the lift to run slower than it could. So we're upgrading that system to digital and doing so will allow us to run it full speed regularly and not have those fault causing problems. Okay. So we've seen a ski lift. We know it takes people up to ski. Uh, You've additionally been adding, I saw some photos for people to do this other thing that they do on the mountain, which is (laughs) mountain biking. We have a huge and growing mountain bike population. We have 24 trails and we're actually adding a few more this year as well. So there's a huge network of mountain bike trails up and down the mountain for all levels of riders. Wow. And This summer, we added mountain bike trays to our main ski lift. So that'll hold four bikes on every other chair. And those brand new trays, we spent over $100,000 getting those put on the mountain so that we can push a lot more traffic and mountain bikers up the mountain. Okay, big question. Is there a black diamond... Uh, a mountain bike trail. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's, okay. <laughs> there's black and double black diamonds as wow. well. So we have some really steep and really crazy trails for those hardcore mountain bikers. And we also have some brand new green trails for families and beginners as well. And, and we have one from the top down now Mm -hmm. that just opened up this last summer and that allows those beginners to go all the way up to the top but then ride an easier trail down as well so is there a bunny bike trail (laughs) (laughs) not quite a bunny bike trail but i mean those beginner trails are pretty good for all levels of riders good i figured you get the final joke in there you know okay let's talk about summer events i said we were going to talk about summer events was some of the summer events that are going to be going on at sunrise Yeah, so we have a couple big bike events coming on. Uh, Going back to the biking, we have Big Mountain Enduro, which was actually this past weekend, June 9th through 11th. 
Um, and that was a huge national bike event where there, Sunrise was only one of five locations in the whole country that was hosting that event. Nice. And we had hundreds of bikers from all over the country that came to visit and thousands of spectators as well. And then later this summer in September, we have several mountain bike events, including the Collegiate Qualifiers. It's called the Sunrise Scramble. It's hosted by NAU. Wow. And then we also have another enduro race um, around that same weekend. I think it's the weekend before that. Um, and then we have two other mountain bike events. I don't have the dates on those yet, but we will have those on our website on the events page at sunrise.ski. We also have our annual 3D archery shootout coming out this uh, July 4th-ish weekend. Um, July 4th is on a weekday, so we're going to do it June 30th through July 2nd. And we'll have a huge event with archers from all over the country coming out here to Sunrise to do an archery shoot we have fun shoot and then we have competitive shoot and we have categories for all ages and skill levels and everything there as well okay and stay tuned to our facebook page because we always share that out as well here for with the town of pine tap lakeside you know what we'll do is we'll put the links down below of course to uh capture any of that information or if you want more information about sunrise park resort you know speaking as this this is talk of the town what's moving forward i mean it's looking good as far as uh what sunrise is doing and putting the money in and can you speak to you know what what the future plans are uh is is there a focus there to continue to do that and focus to make things better and better at sunrise well, we're always working to improve. We have a lot of plans for um, future possible lift opportunities um, and adding access to different parts of the mountain in different ways. Um, the biggest thing this last winter was we added a cord lift to get to the top of Cyclone Circle. Yeah. And that opened up the 14 trails on that mountain that were not accessible prior to that. Um, we're also working on possible future lift opportunities and obviously those upgrades I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Also, we're doing some huge improvements to the snowmaking infrastructure on the mountain. We have a company coming out that's going to help us with repiping and adding some new piping to improve and increase the amount of snowmaking output that we have, as well as add additional slopes and additional locations to our snowmaking abilities. That way, whether the weather works out or not, we can in fill in snow where we need to. And we have a new winch snowcat that allows us to both push snow down the mountain, but also now we can push snow uphill to fill in spots that we need to. So if the weather's working in our favor or not, we can still work around that and Sweet. fill in snow where we have to and, and have a good winter. Is that also another snowcat you can send down if we get uh, great big snows like we had before to help ADOT clear the road? Yeah, we had to do that a couple times this past winter where we had to help ADOT get their plows unstuck on, on yeah. 273 and we sent our snowcat out to help with that and dig their plows out. So. Very cool stuff. So, you know, Sunrise, uh, pretty excited about the things that are going on there. I'm, I'm mostly excited to think about the uh, lodge. I think it'd be a cool place to have as a destination from us here. We could go out and just hang out there for a weekend or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. And it's going to be a year round hotel too. So very cool just as the rest of the resort is awesome. Once again, that's Tyler with Sunrise Park Resort. I'm Rob Hefner. This is the town of Pine Top Lakeside. Talk of the town.